Hello and welcome back. And uh, we're talking about public health, public policy, and we're in our third module. And uh, very pleased to be back uh, in front of the video camera for you. Um, just a little review of where we've been. Our uh, assessment so far has been the concept of developing what I call policy action plans. And again, the focus really is on the term action. These are action-oriented approaches to impacting public health, public policy. And our first module, we focused really on the forum and the actors and the, the who makes the policy decisions. Um, the second module, we, we looked at the process a bit. Uh, so those are both kind of technical uh, uh, assessments of, of where we go in the policy-making world to have an impact. Um, today, we're going to switch gears a little bit, and we're going to get more kind of into the advocacy arena. And um, this will be kind of a, a more fun uh, conversation uh, with you today. And again, what we'll do is we'll post um, exercises and assignments on our virtual resource room, and uh, we'll be expecting you to do some, some work there. Um, but in the meantime, what I want to talk today about is something that, again, is more fun, but also very, very important uh, to a um, holistic, strategic policy action plan. And what we're going to be talking about today is how you develop an issue campaign. The marketing and messaging that goes along with an initiative. So marketing and messaging is really what our goals and objectives are for today. And what I'd like to do is provide a framework for thinking about um, the marketing and messaging um, that we all are inundated with uh, throughout each and every day of our lives. We see, these, um, we see these symbols, we see these words, we see these pictures, and they mean something to us, both consciously and unconsciously. Now, bear in mind that the a large multinational corporation, this corporation, the conglomerates, um, utilize marketing and messaging as a key component to their product development and their product distribution. And so